بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hi everyone and welcome this is Omar Balfaki and I want to welcome you to this channel and to this tutorial if you're a subscriber welcome back if not then welcome to the channel where I create video game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films so in today's tutorial we will be doing this the mission indicator or the uh, quest waypoint as you can see here we have this UI element which shows that there is a mission over there and it shows the distance from the player's position to the target position and whenever we go off screen it still sticks to the sides of the screen that's what we will be doing today so we go to this scene where we have the um, basic environment here and then we've got the camera which has the mission waypoint script so far it's empty it has nothing in it what we want to do is we want to take this image ui and place it on top of our target so let's say that the target would be over here what we want to do is we want to access both this image and the house or the target to access the image use the unity engine.ui and then here we're going to create the variables first public image which is the indicator and let's call it img and then the transform which is the target Simply, we're going to place the image on top of that object. So, image.transform.position equals camera.main.world to screen point to convert the 3D point to 2D point, which is the equivalent point on the screen. And then we're going to pass target.position. So, if you save and go back, you'd see two fields here one for the image. So, I'm just going to drag it. And then another one for the target. So, if I select the house over here, the inspector is gone. Here is a quick tip just gonna go to my camera select it and then click on this um, lock icon now if I select any other object it will still be locked here so now simply we can just drag the target to this field and hit the play button all right so now we have it here it's just exactly on top of the um, target location but we still we don't want it to go off screen we want to give it limitations and another thing is if you look back you would see it there. So let's start fixing these things. Before going on, let me explain something quickly to you. With Unity, the UI in the 2D space start from 0 and 0, the bottom left. And the max would be the screen width and screen height. So let's say this is our UI. And the anchor point is in the center here. So if it start from 0, 0, it would be just half of it or quarter of it would be here. And if you go to the top, also just a quarter of it would be shown. And to fix that, we want to give it the limitations starting from 0 plus half of its width and on the Y, 0 plus half of its height. And also for the maximum would be the screen width minus half of its width and the screen height minus half of the sprite height. So let's get into it. We'll come here and we're going to create float minimum X, which is half of the image width. So it will be image.get pixel adjusted rect dot width divided by two. And then we're gonna get the max. Max x equals screen dot width minus minimum x. And then we're gonna take these two for the y. So y, y. And here instead of width, it will be height. And here minimum y. So now we have the limitation variables. We want to affect the position as well. To do so, I'm just going to remove that and replace it with a temporary variable of type vector2. And let's call it pause position. And now we're going to limit it. So position.x equals mathf.clamp. Value would be the position.x. Minimum min x and max x. Copy and paste. And replace it with the y. And here we're going to set the image position to pause. Save it, hit play. So it doesn't go off. That's cool. But still, we've got another problem. If you look back, we will see it. And to know if the object is behind the camera or not, we're going to use the dot method. So if vector three dot dot and then we'll pass the distance between the target and our player and then transform dot forward basically this method will return positive one if they're in front of each other and negative one if the target is behind the player and zero if they're side by side so basically we want to check if it's less than zero if it's negative then it's behind the player so target is behind the player 
and then we will check if the position dot x is less than screen dot width divided by two the target is on the left side of the screen but now we're looking back so it's not the real target it's the other side so we're gonna reverse it if it's on the left we're gonna place it to the right side of the screen position x equals max x and then else position dot x equals minimum x so if it's on the right side we're gonna stick it to the left save it go back play try to look the back it will keep assisting us to look at the target and it won't show it on the other side so that's pretty cool now it's time to affect that number here the meter simply we will do that by adding a new variable public text call it meter and then here we're gonna set its text to the distance between the target and the player so vector 3 dot distance target dot position and then transform dot position but the problem here this will return a float but we want to have a string we're going to convert it to string save it and go back so this is the text I'm just going to drag it here and hit play as you can see the numbers are really weird because it's a float so we're going to convert it into an integer first we're going to surround the distance by parentheses and then we're going to convert it into an integer and then plus the meter unit play all right now it's working perfectly one more thing we could add an offset so we can change this if you want to put it slightly up or right or left we're going to create a new variable of type vector3 and call it offset and then here when we convert the target position plus offset save it and go back hit play you can see here that we have offset if we increase the y you can see that it's going up so let's put five and then if you go there it's slightly up so you could just play around with it pretty cool right so that's pretty much it for today i hope you learned something useful and if you got any questions or suggestions for the channel just leave them in the comment section below and if you want to get more of these game development tutorials remember to hit the subscribe button thank you so much for watching this is omar balfaki and see you in the next video bye bye